We love redstone clocks here at OMG Craft, and no, I am not talking about that clock that tells you the time in Minecraft. Get out of here! Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chat. Redstone clocks can be super useful in Minecraft to time your creations, but they do take up a lot of space. So I have found a single command block creation that will make a redstone clock that is only one block big and it has some really nice configurations too. So let's see how to make it. So here we are in our OMG Craft world and to get started you need to give yourself a command block so do slash give at P uh, I'm in caps mode so <laughs> there you go and then start typing command block and you can hit tab and it will give you another one I already did so now I have two you're going to place this command block down you're going to go to the link in the description and copy that command and paste it in and it is very 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 long then I like to just choose always active or you could throw down some sort of redstone and activate it and there it goes boop and it it ha has created it there you go this is what it's going to look like the redstone clock v1.2 1.4 I can't read wow uh, you can remove it and it has a little bit of a credit if you right click it'll tell you what to do and that is to take three redstone throw them on the ground take a repeater throw it on the ground take a stone throw it on the ground and a torch and throw it on the ground boom and there you go now you have a redstone clock so we came on over here we have this other redstone clock um let's go ahead and remove that and then set it right there and there you go it's going crazy holy cow it's just going and going and going uh you can add delay There you go. Uh, holy cow, that was a lot. Um, you can add delay by clicking, by the way, cheesy Louisey, this is loud, uh, by uh, clicking on it with a redstone torch and you can remove that delay by clicking on it with a cobblestone. So you can see that it's uh, activating here and going crazy. If I put a torch on it, it slows down, slows down even more, slows down even more. Just like that but if we put a cobblestone on top it will whoops speed up speed up speed up speed up so you can see that it goes really 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 fast there so you can control exactly how long the delay goes there we go now we have it on for a very long delay and then we could set up another one we're going crazy fast then you can set this delay to a different amount so you can see that that is super duper useful. It only takes up a single block space and then whatever you want to activate with it, you can because it actually turns into a redstone block uh, temporarily. There we go. If you want to break it, oh my gosh, that is insane. If you want to break it, just go ahead and punch it and it will go away. There you go. And of course, if you want to remove it as well, you could we set this one up uh, you can go ahead and just hit remove and then the functionality is broken uh, whenever you remove the command block structure out of your world this command was made by minecrafter 42 and is absolutely fantastic so check out the link in the description to use it hey don't forget omg craft has a teespring campaign their very own omg craft t-shirt which is printed in amazing gold foil so check that out at teespring.com slash omg craft and help support the show and then get some awesome t-shirts to wear around as well i absolutely adore the design you should definitely check it out. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts and subscribe for future videos. I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.